Hi guys and welcome to Paint with Mark. I thought today I'll show you a quick and easy step by step oil painting lesson and we're going to be painting this picture today. You can see on there. So we're going to be painting this picture today. A couple of birds in a basket, nice little bit of background, sort of snowy effects. So this one was uh, done by Annette Kowalski, um, Bob Ross's uh, business partner and I believe it's in the book Joy of Painting Flowers 2. So the colours we're going to be using today are titanium white, black, orange, sap green, phthalo blue, cadmium yellow, van dyke brown, I've got some lizard and crimson, um, dark sienna and a little bit of purple. I'm also going to be using uh, the Bob Ross oil painting medium or if you haven't got any of that some uh, refined linseed oil I do. And the tools I'm going to be using are a little tiny mixing palette knife, a one and a quarter inch flat brush, a half inch flat brush, 10 mil, a little round brush, and I've got a little sort of sharp uh, rough edge type, a stickly type brush. Also going to be using a little bit of uh, odorless thinner in a pot. I've got a little bit of odorless thinner in a little pot there. And some kitchen roll, some kitchen paper. And I've got a pencil. I've got a little bit of carbon paper and a little picture of some birds that I've cut out that I'm going to trace onto the canvas and also I've cut myself a little basket template shape I've just roughly gone around it just to sort of stick on there to give a, a rough idea for when uh, I do my students they can just stick that on there and draw around it to give them a sort of basic shape um, because not everyone's good at sort of freehanding it on and I'm using a, a 16 by 20 pre-stretch canvas and I've just gone over this with a light coating of grey gesso. So that said guys, get all your tools together, get ready and it's paint with mark, here we go. So the first thing I'm going to do guys, I'm just going to lightly use my pencil to draw around the outline of the basket. So I'm going to put the position of basket slightly tipping backwards this, this sort of way. And I, when I put the birds, the birds are going to be sort of over here. So I want this on the top sort of right hand corner, something like that. If I don't want it in the middle, it's always pleasing to add the subject slightly off centre. So I think something like that will do. So all I'm going to do is just use the pencil and just lightly go round the outline. I'm not, not worried too much about this, just a faint outline. Hopefully you can see that on the video. Again, you know, I'm not too worried about how sharp the edges are. It's just a guide. Again, but this is all going to change once we start painting it in. But it just gives us a guide where I'm going, something like so. So you can sort of see the basic outline shape there. And obviously, you know, if, if we fill this in here, we know that this part here is where it comes around, about there. So we're only really looking for this sort of shape, like this, sort of comes around. We know that where the handle is here comes down and there's a hump there, comes round, this sort of thing, round there. So what I'm really worried about is that sort of shape, just this area here really. So once we've sort of got a rough outline, I don't know if you can see it on the video and then it's picking it up, I will then use my carbon paper, okay, 
put it obviously this side against here and then I'm going to get my little bit of paper K out I'm going to position it so the bird are sort of positioned something like that so I'll just sort of mark where this is going to be on here on the canvas just so I know roughly where it is something like that so I use my carbon paper I just put it up like so and I know that it's going to be something like that and I'm just going to draw around the outside so I'm going to draw around the outside edge like so wiggling it around to make it seem like fur obviously when you do this it's easier to lie it down on a table than to do what I'm doing um, up like this but this is obviously for your benefit for the video so you've got a lot more time as well to do this or I'm on a time limit on the, the size of the video also you want to go over all the little detail um, of this so you also want to put the make sure we get the beak in and this black area we need to just go around the outside line and also the eye I want to go around the outside of that now that's got a filled in on that one then I'm going to come over to this one and just all I'm doing I'm just tracing around the line that's all I'm doing Put these few little lines in like so and hopefully I've done enough when we remove that we can see the outline of the birds is exactly what I'm looking for so I'll put that to the side so hopefully when you do yours you'll be able to spend a bit more time than what I have but I'm hoping that the, the video does pick that up that's the main thing put the beak in there you can't see it very well but it gives you this sort of general idea of what we're looking at so once I've got my birds on a position that I'm happy with. I'll then get a, a like a, a permanent marker, like Sharpie pen, Blackwell. And all I'm going to do is fill in the black parts of the bird. So basically, I'm just going to colour this in just loosely, just so I can see where this is going. Hopefully you can see on the video to spend a lot of time on this. So I'm just going around the outline. Probably a bit boring for you to watch because I'm not going to rush too much. I want to make it look quite nice. And this one. I'm just doing the head. And again, don't worry if you've got shaky hands because it will add to the effect. So I'm just looking up this picture here, try and get it up there so you can see it as well. And I'm just literally just colouring in. This is just going to give us a little bit of a base. And then obviously we're going to use oil, glaze oil over the top. And this helps just roughly see where we're going and what we're doing. I'm just going to use a little bit of black, just, a, just as a, a very faint idea of what we're doing and where we're going. All right, it's just for your benefit on the video, just so you can see the markings that I'm doing. Okay, now the, the eye just comes around like this, and the eye goes in there. Pull that all in with the black to start with, and the beak will come down here, right like that, like that. This 
feet comes around like that, like so. And we've got our dark here. Pull this part in. Again, as I said, this is going to be glazed over. We're going to use uh, oil paint on the top of this. So. Okay, when you do this at home, lay this down on the table in front of you and you'll find that it will make this a lot easier for you to do. So I'm just going to do the outline with the, with, with the pen just so you can see what I'm looking at and what I'm doing. Fill that in. I think that's yeah, I think that's gonna be good enough for what we want to see what we're doing. Yeah. Okay, so hopefully now you followed along and you've just got your, your birds in position where you're happy with. So what we're gonna do now is get a little round brush. And I'm going to put it into my medium, my painting medium, or and I'm just going to put it in a little pot, just to make sure it's nice and loose in here. And so it's nice and thin. And I'm just going to get a little bit of blue, just a little bit of blue, just take from the bottom, go back into some of the medium, put a big blob of medium at the bottom of that, just so it's very thin. And runny. I'm just gonna basically now draw the outline of the basket. So I'm just gonna come underneath the birds. Again, this is not set in stone, and this is this is just a rough guide for you to to use when you're doing yours. All right. So again, this is all can be changed later on. This is just a, a rough guide, I'm not, I'm not too fussed about it, I'm just sitting the birds on top and I'm just going to come down like so and around, like so, up here, so like that. You can see I'm not too too worried about what I'm doing, I just want to get in a basic shape, that's all, that's all we're trying to do, just getting some sort of basic shape of what we're looking at to go for now. So, a little bit more of the blue, this is going to come around like so, down here, like that, and around here, like so, something like that, and just sit down there I think. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So again, it's just a, a basic uh, basket shape. That's all we're really worried about at the moment on this stage. Now what, what I tend to do is I put in the actual lines in the background because a lot of basket, it, it, it weaves in and out these like bands that come down. So while I've got the blue, just uh, for guidance for myself, it's what I tend to do is I'll do a line roughly coming in down from where the handle is down here. Okay, and this one will be coming down the same sort of way like so. And I'm just sort of scrubbing this colour in, okay, just to give me a guide. So it will come down, this will come come down. Now this, this canvas is all dry by the way. When I put the uh, a grey gesso on there, I let it completely dry before I've done any of this. So from there, what I tend to do is try and follow the shape of the basket. So this will be coming around here. So basically, I'd have a line that would be coming this sort of shape, round like this. Then I'd have perhaps another one like up there. So a little bit darker, so you, just so you can see for your benefit on the video. So like that, and that will be curling around like so. And then on this side, it starts curling around this way. So I'd have 
one that probably come around like so, and one there, and then there'll be one up there, something like that. And I'll just really just sort of scrubbing the bit of the colour in just for my own benefit so I know this is going to be obviously you know if you was to carry it on inside it would be exactly the same thing you have the bits that go down like this inside the basket I just put them in we're not going to see any of this but you'll see what I mean if I just sort of put those in you'll see what I mean and then what I'd do is the basket sort of it scoops down and up the pieces at the side scoop down and up so what I tend to do is I just sort of roughly I'm just going to put this in just for a bit of practice before we actually do anything is just visualize the way that the, the actual weave of the basket goes so it sort of goes down and up down and up and we are going to be using this little 10 mil or, or half inch brush to do that so we'll be holding it on the side flicking down and up meeting these middle parts but i'm just putting this in just so when you're doing this if you sometimes you you just sort of put put a few of these in it just when you come to do the actual basket you actually understand the shape that you're doing it's sort of like i call it smiley faces shape so it's a sort of smiley face shape. So I'm just going to put these in just so you can sort of see the effect you get with a basket. Okay. Now the handle, it actually, if you look at rope, it sort of comes down and twists and around. So it comes down, around and twists and down. So if I was to sort of put that on from here, it will be coming down, around, twist and down. Down, around, twist and down down round twist and down so it's sort of like a twisty movement so it's sort of comes around twist around down twist around and the effect will be obviously better when we use the actual brush and these actually actually go the opposite way because we're looking at the reverse of the basket handle if that makes sense so we're just sort of sketching a bit in just to visualize you know what what we're looking at but you know don't panic too much because all this is going to change as we progress. So when we finish that brush, I just dip it into a medium and just use a little bit of kitchen roll and just squeeze the kitchen roll out and just put it down to the side. Okay. Now I'm going to switch to our inch and a half inch 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 and a half it doesn't whatever whatever you've got flat brush so I'm going to use a mixture of purples and blues uh, maybe a bit of white mixed with medium and I'm just going to crisscross all the background now what I must say is that my area here if we look at a picture so if hopefully you can see the picture there is that most of my dark purple areas I've put down here and a little bit up the side there and as I've gone on some of this is all mottled so I'm not going to usually like I'll put the colour on and then we, we use a, a brush and sort of make it all flat I'm not going to do that this time we don't need to we not want a nice mottled effect so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my medium get my medium I'm going to dip the brush in the medium and I'm going to put some of that on my palette so I'll show you hopefully you can see that I've put a little bit of this flat on my palette so I'm going to go into a little bit of purple colour okay and I'm mixing it with the medium so a little bit of purple mix that into medium so it's sort of very probably sort of runny colour and I'm just going to do crisscross strokes as I said round here now mainly it's darkest around this bottom area here so I'm just going to add this purple wet purpley mixed colour around here and then I'm just going to and I'm just doing crisscross strokes so I'm just going into the colour 
crisscross strokes. I'm going to go to a little bit of the blue, so I'll pull some of the blue down, just a little bit of blue. And again, this has got the medium on there as well, so it's quite, it's, it's not dry, okay, it's not dry. And I'll pull some of that colour, and I may flick a little bit of that blue and move it down here and down there. A little bit up there perhaps, I'm not too too worried, but basically a little bit of the purple and blue and, and what I tend to do is I mix a little bit of blue and purple and I just sort of dabble a little bit here and there on the picture, just so I've got some colour on there, you can see that, just sort of put a bit of colour on there. I add a little bit of white in there as well, like so. So I'm just sort of, I'm just filling in the gaps now with a bit of colour. I'm just dabbing all over there. Now I go into my medium, and, I, and then I'm going to come into into medium, and then perhaps I'll come into a little bit of white as well. So I pull the brush one way and the other way into these colours. So it's a sort of light mix, and then I'll start going in and mix it in with this colour. So I'm just going to be doing backwards and forwards strokes like so. And I'm just going to go over and blend in. I'll keep going backwards and forwards like so. Just around the basket until we get the whole, whole canvas coloured really. I'm just flicking backwards and forwards and literally I'm just going backwards and forwards, go into my colour, and I keep, keep adding colour. But I want this area up here lighter than down here, so again, I'm going to a bit of medium, a bit into the white, a bit into the purpley blue colour, put up here, and I'm flicking this backwards and forwards, like crisscross strokes, scrubbing the colour, into the canvas, that's all I'm doing, just keep going into the colour, backwards and forwards, crisscross strokes, be very careful when it comes around our birds, just near the outline, carry on, Get some more purple, some white, just add this up, purple colour in there and literally just keep doing this bit of colour I like to just flick around you can see dark around the canvas just keep adding a little bit of medium as you do just get this covered up Again, you can use a larger brush if you want to. Some more purple colour in here. Lovely purple. Up around the side here. Sort of, sort of mottled colour, I like it. And I'll bring this up, okay. Just the purple colour and medium, that's all I'm using at the moment, and some white as I come further up this way because I want it lighter colour. So, crisscross strokes. medium around my basket handle but this will dry pretty quick um, this will dry pretty quick on your canvas so you can go back in so and put more colours on top which is good so a bit more white in here I like to put the colour on and then 
go over the top with some white so it makes it all sort of more mottly effect in the background. But we're getting there guys. Hope you're following along. It's not too difficult for us to do. Okay, just putting some white in there where I've got some colour and some white in. So it's sort of toning it all back. Just add a little bit of medium at the same time as you do this. Come on the top up here. Go and watch my birds. Near the outside of the birds. We're going crisscross strokes. You can see it start to progress now, guys. Again, I'm just really being loose with this, really loose. And it really helps if you if you lose with this. We don't want it all right on one colour. Want it very sort of mostly effect. Let the colours sort of blend in together. Like I said, where it's a bit if it's a bit dark in there, you just add a bit more of this white on there. And sometimes you add a little bit of white without any of the medium because you've already got medium on your brush okay, don't forget and when you're doing this guys what you've got to remember is that this is just a background colour and we're going to have foliage um, and everything going over this so it doesn't stand out too much so you haven't got to worry too much about this because we don't want it to overpower our picture of what we're actually painting So, you know, if it's a little bit, bit dark, we'll just add a little bit more white over the top of that, just to suck that down a little bit, just to make it a bit more distancey. Here, a little bit more white on here. Let's go around my birds very carefully, not to go over the actual picture itself. I just want to make sure though, I do get the colour all round the outside of the birds as well so just carefully when you go around the birds just get in there go in crisscross strokes a little bit of medium a little bit of colour Make sure that the whole canvas is covered, obviously because we had the uh, the actual grey colour to start with, it's given us a nice base colour to start with. So we've already got a nice base tone on there, which helps us. Okay, so yeah, I think I'm, I'm sort of happy with that. That's uh, going well. Yeah, it's all going to do, I think. Just make sure you remember to do inside of here. So, a bit of purple and white, a bit of medium. And fill in this part here. This is obviously in between the basket handles. And I'll bring this down, crisscross stroke again. I'll take it through there just in case the handle doesn't come right down. We've got a foliage coming up. And so, I'll just that so I think I'm happy with that I'm just gonna add a little bit white here just over some of these uh, areas just tone this down a little bit more darks in as well so I'm flicking from lights and darks and in between them all just to break this up 
as I said, I want my dark rear is over this side and under here. So I'm going to go into some purpley and just sort of put some dark purple under this part here. Just want the most this darky purpley sort of colour, like this way, which I've done. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to leave that now, guys. Hopefully yours is uh, looking the same sort of thing. Okay, it's just a mottled colour. That's all we're looking for. So I'll get the brush and dip it into the medium. And then give it a wipe and a clean. Now a little bit of tissue. So I hope you're enjoying these videos guys that are doing. Um, I've took off all the adverts on all the videos. And uh, what I've decided to do is, if anyone does want to support me, they can click on the link. Uh, it's um, PayPal, Pay, PayMail, PayPal Me. And what I suggest, you know, if you can, just spare one dollar or one pound or more if you can. If everyone just sort of, sort of put in a, a dollar for everyone that, that found value in, in the video, then um, that would help towards me for my materials, and my time to do this for you. So. That's enough for ranting. Also, please subscribe and like and share. So, we've done the background now. We're going to go on to our birds. So, we're going to get a little round brush, go into the medium pot, little pot of medium, and then we're going to go into titanium black. So, we're going to go into the black, okay? And again, I always just touch at the very bottom of the colour. Go back into the medium again and then flick it around so it's quite it's quite loose more like in, inky consistency really um, not too runny but I just want to break it down a little bit and I like to spin this around so what I'm going to do now I'm going to go back over this dark area so I'm just going to now paint you can wait a little bit if this will dry a bit more if you want but just Rest your little finger on the handle and then you can get up there and just start painting this in. And again, you could do this um, at a table, sitting down, you may find that easier. And, and when you go to the edges, just sort of wiggle it around a little bit so it will make it look more like fur. Okay, so I'm not going to keep this all uniform. I'm going to wiggle this around and it will create a sort of like a fur effect. So the background was just a guide, a base, when we put the black in there. And now we're going over with the oil paint to make it really pop out and stand. A little bit more. And all I'm doing, I'm just going over these, these black parts, okay, with the oil paint. So a little bit of medium into the black and I'm just literally just going over the dark that we did earlier on but just these dark areas I'll right, leave the eye for a second I'm going to come back to that again okay, when you do this at home I've got a lot of time this obviously is still the wet on wet painting method. Uh, we're using a wet paint or sort of a wet paint. Some people have asked me. So paint this one in. Yeah, I just go a little bit of colour at a time, taking my time. Just a little bit by bit. Just gonna build him up. Build the birds up. This area. I like to just I actually put the outline of the beak as well when I've got this black in my hand. Okay, I think it's enough. Right, and I'm gonna do the circle of the eyes, okay, very carefully. Just try not to fill in between the eye and the black. Leave a little ring around the top of, of white if you can. Um, if, if you can't, don't worry, because you can put it back in with some white colour 
afterwards which is easier if we do it now <coughs> excuse me <coughs> anyway I'm going to get a little bit of black I'm just going to put some black on the very top of some of his feathers if that makes sense so just some of that add some a little bit of this black to some of his feathers just the top edge like so I'm not going to do with a bomb so just these parts here we've coloured in with the colour which we're looking for so go back into the medium and then use a little bit of tissue paper and give that a nice clean up just a, just a white that's all good okay now what we're going to do is I'll show you the picture again what I've done is I've mixed up a little bit of grey for around here so I'm going to put in the grey first so the grey is beak around here a little bit under there like so so I'm just going to make a bit of grey up and we're going to use mix the grey up by using a little bit of titanium white and a little bit of the black and again so I'll go into the medium I'll get a little bit of titanium white and you've probably got a bit of a dirty brush anyway so because you've just had a bit of black all we've done is just pulled it through so hopefully if not just get a little bit of black and we just want a, a sort of light grey colour hopefully you can see that a light grey colour and I'm just going to come up to the bird and again I'm just going to Put a little bit underneath here and literally I'm just scrubbing in now just down here like so and I'm just scrubbing in the colour same with this one very do little lines pulling down and it will create fur effect just by pulling this down and just scrubbing a bit of colour like so okay so so if you see the picture what we've done I've done a little bit of grey here so I'm going to go back into my grey and we added some grey underneath here and literally I'm just putting a little bit of this colour now you're going to you're pulling this over some of this as well it's fine but literally I'm just scrubbing a bit of this colour here and again it it won't show up too much probably on the video but it will when you're doing it yourself and as you're pulling the brush down you, you may be putting a little bit of black down into there that's fine because it, it, again it creates this effect that looks like you've got feathers on here so I'm just literally just scrubbing a little bit of this colour on there at the moment okay just a bit there and a bit there and I'm going to put some at the top right along the top back there which I did which all I did is I just run a bit of this colour on this top edge like so hopefully you can see that on the video and then put this picture down and then I go back into my colour like so again a bit of white a bit of black bit of grey and then I'm just going to Filling or go over the beak like so, and this one a bit more under there, okay. That's all we need, just this little bit of grey colour. Now I'm going to wipe my brush back into the medium and then just give it a squeeze. Now I'm going to go into 
back into the media and then just straight titanium white back into the medium titanium white again you can have a little bit of the grey just a touch of the grey on there but you want it more white than grey I'm just going to fill in the rest of it and what I do I just sort of pull it down like so so you can go around the outside of the area like so I'm literally I'm just pulling this downwards very lightly pulling this down again some of it might pull into the black which pulls it down which makes it a bit grey I'm following the shape of the bird all right I'm just sort of pulling this around over my outline that I did with the marker pen and again I'm not filling it the whole lot in I'm I'm just sort of scrubbing it so you can still see some of this grey uh, gesso-y colour behind and we're in meet up the grey I'll put in there I'm pulling this down as well so I'm just here and there pulling I'm going to put a little bit of white up here under his eye just sort of blending it in run a little bit of colour down here like so right. and then I'm going to go into the other one and do the same with the other one so we've got some white down here scrub that in first and then white under here, I'm just pulling this down. Like so. I'm just using the, the, the side of this brush, like so. Putting this down, mixing the colours like so. I like to just sort of here, go near the bottom, leave that line at the bottom there. Okay. Now, if your beaks are a bit too dark, still you can light them up with a little bit of this white. But now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of orange now. So, still got my dirt, dirty brush. I'm going to go into some medium. I'm just going to pull out the tiniest little bit of orange. And again, this has got white on there as well. So, it's going to be a very sort of light shade of orange that we're going to put. And we're just going to pull down a little bit in here. And when you, when you first put it on, it's really bright. But it's going to mix in with the other colour. So what I tend to do is I tend to just put a bit of colour on there first, then I come across to this one. So it takes some of the colour there, and then I come across here, so it's not too bright. And literally, I'm just going to put a little bit of this colour here and there, and I'm very lightly just scrubbing a bit of this colour. And it's mixing in with the white and the grey. Just a little tone of colour. Let's get my tissue out of the way. Again, this one. Just put a little bit of colour around here and the edge. I'm scrubbing this in because obviously I don't want it all prominent to stand out as one big blob. Again, I want this to. Stand out, and as I'm pulling down, it's mixing in with the other colour, so it looks again, it looks like feathers. So that's literally just pulling down. Again, if you get carried away with this and you put too much, you could just go back into some white and, and then just flick some white in places and just use the point and just pull down the direction of the bird shape and all the time you pull out these little strokes coming downwards it makes it create uh, feathery effects I hope that makes sense to you guys so once we've done our little birds which I'm happy with there 
is I'm just going to wipe this, go into the medium, wipe it again because I don't want any orange colour left so I'll go into the medium a couple of times and just give it a spin and then I'm just going to go the very tip into some titanium white and then I'm going to come up to my picture and I'm just going to put in very carefully um, his eyes so hope, I'm hoping you can see that on the video there so I can see it on my one <laughs> that's the main thing so yeah that's, that's the that's your guys done um, a little bit of colour missing there I'm just going to put a little bit of colour in on my bird there So my birds are done now, as, uh, I'm quite happy with the birds. So the next step is to fill in our basket with a colour. So basically the colour we're going to be using is Van Dyke Brown and Dark Sienna. So I'm going to use the half inch flat brush. So what we're going to do is go into some medium again. Always need some medium. And first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get the Van Dyke Brown. So again, I've got some medium, some Van Dyke Brown there. Just so it's not dry, it's just got a little bit of, of wet with it with the medium. And first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to do these lines as I said to you, the dark. So I'm just going to literally hold it this way flat on. I'm just going to start. Just sort of rough shape. Again, don't don't be too stressed about this. We just want to get our, our sort of rough shapes in. But I like to put the darks in first, and you'll see why afterwards. I'm just sort of getting these dark because this this what I'm putting in here is basically the shadow. Okay, in the background, it will be in the background. Of these lines so I like to put this in now with this dark because it will pay dividends later on for you so this is Van Dyke Brown and a touch of medium okay so a little bit of medium Van Dyke Brown a bit there this will be done and then the top bit here and the lip this will be dark so what I'm going to do is Follow the shape around. Okay, just just about here, and this outside edge. I like to do this with this dark. Get this dark in the first. And all I'm doing, I'm just following the outline guys of what we did earlier on. So what I'm looking for really is just that because the rest is will be covered in obviously with uh, our other colour um, I'm not too fussed about the rest I want to do the bottom as well so again don't don't make this all square boxy shape um, and again everything can be changed guys all right so don't panic about anything you know anything can be changed just trying to get a sort of basic shape in it at the moment i'm not going to do this back bit here because obviously we've got foliage and everything going on there but i just want to get those darts in first so now i want to go into some more medium and then i go to dark sienna I'm into a dark sienna. So the first one's Van Dyke Brown, now I'm into dark sienna, and I'm going to add more medium to this. So it's more runny. Okay. And then I'm going to come up, and then I'm literally just going to fill this in. So literally going to fill this in. But I'm going to obviously spread this out. Oh, 
don't worry about things like that. Some of me thinners come out or some mediums come out. So I'm just going around the shape. This very lightly, just filling in, and I'm hoping you can see in the video, you can still see these dark parts, even though where I'm filling this in. So I'm getting the colour filled in, and spreading the colour. And literally, I'm just scrubbing this colour and I'm just sort of doing backwards and forwards rocking mo movements um, by filling it in. Okay, so backwards and forwards rocking movements, filling it in between these darks, like so back into my colour. And like I said, this this is got a lot more medium with it, guys. All right, so so it spreads a lot easier. Um, because I want it thinner. But we do want it covered, obviously we need it covered. So, I don't know if you can see, worry right about this part down here, there will be foliage down there. Let's just wipe that off of the tissue. So if you do make a mistake, we get a little bit of overspill, get a little bit of tissue and wipe it. But again, we want it rough, we're going to have foliage and things going on, so we haven't got to worry too much. And again, medium, get some medium, and then I'm just going to, I like to very lightly fill this in, very lightly. So I put a lot more, I mean, very sort of inky consistency now. So this is much lighter, as you can see, much lighter than that. I'm just going to literally just fill this in. And again, I'm not going to be too worried about it because we've got a lot of foliage and bits and pieces going on there. So but I'm just going to fill it in. Put the light first. I will put the handling in a second, but I just want to get this filled in first so you can get an idea of what we're doing. Obviously you can see hopefully in the video that this is a lighter mix. Much lighter mix than, yeah, you can see in there. That's good. Done. Then I'm going to go back to with the same brush and go back into this colour, um, which again it's just not so thin. So I'm going to go back into the colour like so. And I like to put my marks in like so. So I hold the brush at the side, I'll touch, I pull it down and around, touch, pull it down and around. Touch, put it down and around. Touch, down and around. Down and around. Down and around. Okay. So back into my colour. And this is obviously, this is down this side and around. 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 Oh, you might see a little bit up under there. Okay. I hope that makes sense using this, so we're coming from the side, around and down. So, from the side, round and down. Yeah, that gives you a guide. So I'm going to go back into the same colour, but with more medium on. I'm just going to fill it all in again, like we did down here. Okay, so very lightly, I'm just going to... Brush this around. Rough idea. Like so. Just 
so don't worry if you can't see the bits underneath that you've done um, because I just made you put that in there so it gives you an eye of what you're going to be looking at when you do it fill this in just be careful you little bird So, there we go, just go on the outside edge a little bit more, just pull that like so. So hopefully um, you should have all got to this stage now where we've filled in all the basket, we've put a, we've done the outline with Van Dyke Brown, okay, and these lines in here. We've then gone to dark sienna and very sort of mixed with more medium. And um, we've filled all this in and, and we've sort of done some mighty faces going like so around the edges here and filled with the scent and fill the handle in. So in the next step we're going to do, we're actually going to do the actual um, basket weave itself. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use a little bit of cadmium yellow in with the little the dark sienna mix. So we're going to use a combination of some darks and lights. So basically I'm going to get the Van Dyke Brown and a very touch, I'm just going to, a little touch of the yellow there, I'm just going to take it in and mix those together just a little bit. I'll pull it one way and I'll pull it the other way. Now what I like to do is I use the, the, you can either use it sideways like so or do it narrow like so. So when you're first starting, perhaps it'd be nice to do the narrow parts. Now basically you need to follow this shape of the basket and try and hit these lines that you've done. As I said, you're going to go down and up. So basically I like to use the whole width. Okay. So basically I'm going to touch the side and flick round. Touch and side and flick round. Hopefully that shows in the video. Again, I've done this sort of quite dark because it is dark at this edge and then I'll leave a gap then I'll come down and around I'll come down and around down and around I'll do one at the top down and around and I've turned it sideways on hopefully you can see that if not don't worry I'm going to be getting some light ones as well now what I may do I will mix I may go into my Van Dyke Brown Okay, with just a touch of medium and then the next row I will start go down and round down and round down and round down and round hopefully that is starting to look like the basket we right. now go back into some light with a little bit of uh, yellow I'm just I'm going to do a, like a couple really, really bright highlight ones so you can see. I'm going to touch and pull across. Go down, pull across. Down, pull across. Down, pull across. Down, pull across. You can see that. If that stands out for you. So you've got like a highlight there. So I've got some bright yellow ones, alright? Now, while this is on the brush, I'm going to do, do these in this colour so you can see it on the video for you. And then I'm going to go over with a little bit of brown just to darken them down because we don't want them all this colour. So we don't want them too, too bright. So touch, go down, 
go down. So we go down and up. Touch, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. I hope you can see that on there. And then I'm going to go into a band of brown and a little bit of white. Okay. I'm going to go down and up, down and up, down and up. Down and up, and as it gets, as we go down, it will get darker because there's less paint on there. That's what we want. We don't want too much of it on there. Okay. I'll go the same again, same colour. A little bit of Van Dyke brown, a little bit of white. Just touch, put it down and round, down and round. A bit like a, a smiley face. That's what we're looking for. I'll do, do the one at the end as well, probably got enough paint on there to do that because we don't want it too, too light when it's dark at the edge. Yeah. Now I've done these ones really bright here so you could just for the, the video benefit and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use the Van Dyke Brown and the, and the white and I'm just going to go over some of these just to make them really pop. So down and around, down and around, as if they caught, a couple of those have caught the light. And I might do one there, on just the edge of this. Right, so down and round. Down and round. So hopefully that stands out and you can you can see that. I'm just gonna add a couple down the bottom here, touch around, touch and around, touch and around. So good idea. Now once we've done this, okay, this part of it here, I tend to like to just get a little bit of the uh, brown and the white and I'm just going to run it along the edge. This is top edge. Like that, as if it's got a little bit of light on there. But again, this is going to be covered up anyway, so you haven't got to worry too much about that. So, doing the same technique, I'm going to come up to the handle here. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get some Van Dyke Brown and just a touch of a touch of white and as I said I'm going to pull down, round and down as if I'm going to come down straight, curl it round and come straight down. So using the, the tip of the brush, so I'm going to come down, round and down. So pull it down, round and down. Put it down, round and down, down, round and down, down, round and down, down, round and down. So it's like the rope is twisting around the handle. Okay, so same colour. This this time it goes the other way from this side. So it goes from the left hand side, go down, round and down, down, round and down, down, round and down down, round and down. So hopefully that makes sense. And I'm just going to highlight just a couple of these. So I'm going to get a little bit of yellow, a little bit of white with it. Just, just, let's just do one. So sort of touch, round, maybe the one there, touch around. Just put, a, so you've got a, a couple on there, just so you can see a couple of highlights on there. And again, you know, if this is too much, you can tone these down any time just by adding a little bit of the, the brown, either the Van Dyke brown, uh, the dark sienna. I mean. So once that part is done, I just want to darken in between some of these lines. You know, we put the lines at the beginning. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into a little bit of black. I'm going to get just a touch of black, a bit of Van Dyke brown, like so. And I'm just going to get a little bit of that colour and a bit of medium. So it's a sort of darky, dark colour here. Van Dyke brown and the black. Okay. And literally I'm just going to tap down this line. I'm just literally, just very lightly going to tap down this line. Remember our lines? Very lightly just tap down these lines. Move them around. Don't, don't keep them all in, in, you know, in, in, in line. I'm just lightly just tapping down our imaginary lines that we, we put in earlier on. 
just tapping this down. And then I turn the brush sideways and I just tap a little bit in between the rows. Like so. That was a forwards. Yep, so I'm happy with that. Yep, that stays out nicely. Yep, okay. If you want to put a little one that really stands out, add you know a little bit of white or something, I'm just going to touch this and just do a little ping, a couple of these ones here. So it's really sort of stand out on the top. So hopefully you can see from there your, your basket is all done again we're going to fill this cover this up and fill this up with foliage and so on which is a good thing 